Okay, uh, in previous session, we discussed our uh, basic things in packet tracer. So, we, uh, we introduced to packet tracer and we uh, discussed about uh, how to start packet tracer and how to set up. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, you can do it. And uh, we discuss what's the user interface, and uh, we introduce and what's the simulation modes and what's the uh, what's the meaning of simulation mode. How we can okay. This is the user interface UI in the packet tracer, and uh, you can see. Uh, in here, simulation, this is the uh, real time mode and you can see in here logical and physically. This is logical means we can uh, use all this equipment and uh, build logically our network in here. And also physically means we can uh, see the physical things in our uh, like as a server room, apetapuru ang gihila balanda may physical api then logical like the api gudo nagarama logically network ke kaakun apmin may ujira network cables gala may ujira adunwa. Ita pas sa apetapuru ang may physical mode dega dega gihila apetapuru ang api koho mada sirawat ang may switch ka gahala diyan ni gihila balanda pulu ang apetap. Can switch at cables, Zilatina with the air, Rakakatina with the air, Eva get a little bit of a pull on the physical mood degger, change the other metal lung, a pain of the manicure. Are it made in a media than where Mamada logical switch at my media name? Metrodino logical view work at the in a physical, I mean the physical view, you can see. Uh, in the physical view and you can click on it and you can see the rack. This is the uh, server rack or switch rack. And this is, you can see uh, power distribution equipment in here. And you can see uh, the switch, uh, which I put in the logical mode. So if I connect to the wires, if I connect, uh, so I, I got uh, some end devices. Uh, yeah, I yeah, I got the routers and click here and I got end devices like PCs. And I connect all things using this wire. Automatically, I told you, uh, I told you Last, why I use the automatical, automatical uh, mode, automatic choose connection in here. And uh, we can go to the physical things. And now you can see, I connect four wires in the switch and you can go to the physical mode and you can see how, the, uh, how those wires are connected to the switch. You can see four four uh, four cables are come to the switch ports, and this is the router. Router also in the rack, and switch also in the rack, and uh, power distribution is on the rack. In uh, power distribution are always we uh, placed on the top in the rack, and uh, switch and router. Sending or descending orders in here. Okay, this is a logical tab and a physical tab. And otherwise, uh, real time mode and simulation mode. We use real time mode to uh, build this network uh, physically, like as reality. And we can uh, and we can't use. Uh, so sorry, uh, and we can't uh, we can't see the data traffic uh, within uh, PCs to routers or routers to PCs or routers to switch. If you want to monitor the traffic, uh, we can use the simulation mode. So if we use the simulation mode and we can uh, got the packet in here 
and we uh, destination uh, sorry source is here and destination is here we can put the uh, tcp packet here and we can uh, monitor the traffic uh, each by um, each nodes in here and lastly i show you uh, how to monitor the packet in here using the simulation model and uh, I told you uh, that important thing uh, we must uh, configure in here. What is this? If you want to, if you want to uh, think, if you want, if if I want to uh, send some data from PC zero to PC two, firstly, uh, what I do? अभी मैं एक मशीन ने की दम दम पीसी सीरो की ना मशीन ने के ही दम पीसी टू मशीन ने अगर आप डेटा का क्या बंदोर ना आप बुलिम मुकाद कराना ना मैं पीसी वाला मनोदय साइन करा गया बंदोर सुन लूँगा डा अरे नेट दबा IP 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 एक बार नेटवर्क के दिन IP असाइन करना हरी है बे मर चाहते के दम्मड़ मटे के बाद बालान बे में 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 उधर मंटर के पिस्तौल ना इधर बोल रहा क्या ना बोलो ना क्या ना और एक बार और वो ऐसे क्यों आ रहे हरे एक बार से और ये तमाई दैट दैट इज़ यूज़र इंटरफ़ेस Okay, and simulation mode. We discuss what is the simulation mode and how to uh, transfer the protocol data in PDO, like as TCP or anything. Uh, and we move uh, now. Today we have to discuss the chapter four and introduce and physical view. What is the physical view? And packet tracer file types and assessment usage. Okay, I I'm. Uh, I also discuss the physical view. What's the physical view? So you can see in here. This is the physical view. Okay. Uh, yes. You can see physical view in here. This is this. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. This is real time. This is simulation mode. This is uh, also simulation mode. Okay. You can see in here. Uh, this is a uh, some data packet we are sent in here okay uh, this is the real time okay okay this is simulation this is the real time real time you can see real time this is the real time background and we can design in here so uh, Shall we move to our slide and what? Mean we how we use tracer. In this chapter, you uh, you are introduced to the PC. We are now uh, we are going to introduce physical view in ourselves. This mode allows to uh, place the logical network topology. This mode, this physical modes allows to the logical network topology into the physical content. We uh, we can use the physical devices or physical contents, and we can uh, create logically network topology in using packet tracer. Packet tracer create various file types, and uh, you know packet tracer uh, in the example uh, got uh, Microsoft Word. Word has uh, we can save file. We can save our document uh, different extensions like as the uh, PDF, uh, Docs, and type of different different file extension we can use and we can uh, save those uh, file in our memory. And uh, the file type are introduced in this chapter, and we also discuss how packet tracer is used and uh, assessment tool. So, like as word uh, file, packet tracer has a own um, extension. 
file with saving uh, make a pull on all at a may packet tracer again up the activity a girl like a save current on a save current a cake extension thing of the other neck was in the top tamer summoning what about the guy did a peak 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 a tea hope peak a kill I have a extension they got in a cut you know up to pull on up to pull on some are packet tracers had a lot ever trouble soon trouble shooting with you at a had a lot of people on can I go to the end that make a troubleshoot for the end again the water a bit of power on media top it up to one pack of tracing activities other than we're going to be on the way with the my woman in this court county get in a ever got now a bit of ever download car again a my then pk a for pkt they got some ek a version again download can up it away that a lot of upload kind of blowing again the marks that are with the animal on the same media okay we go to the this uh, show this videos then other hello everyone this is hello, everyone Cisco this is a cisco packet tracer physical view walk and this video. is and and this it could oh we know that but i don't know what i want to be the best video yet here we get to explore in what is called the physical view of packet tracer. We've so far been in logical view. Behind the logical view button, we actually have a three tiered icon and it's grayed out right now. You can click it and that takes you to physical view. Now here in physical view, we're gonna have a whole new toolbar at the top. We have a navigation toolbar with back buttons, with a little status display that says you're in the intercity. We're able to create things like new cities and new buildings, even container boxes and wiring closets. Then we can move those devices and closets and cities around as much as we want. And we're going to be able to even change images as we deploy our physical networks. Logical networking, that's about being able to see devices and how data is moving. <laughs> ना मैं मैं कहती है ना मैं पिसिकल भी वेका यार अभी ये कहते हैं पिसिकल भी वेका ये देखा कि मुकोदे यार का पार्ने वर्चुअल ने का मैं का लेटेस्ट वर्चुअल ने का तो वो डा पिसिकल भी वेका ने क्यों हुआ मैं ना पार्ने वर्चुअल ने के ना वाला तो इतना पेहु ना मैं इतना दिए ना नेविगेशन यू कैन सी नेविगेशन बैक latest version we have no text and we can see uh, like as a symbol okay uh, we can go to the back in using this okay and this is the building this is the create uh, generic container like this so we can see okay Physical, physical topologies and this physical view we're in is more about where the devices are located and how they're cabled. So here in physical view in is more about where the you can understand uh, what is this in here. Uh, this is the logical topology. Identify devices, ports, and movement of traffic. Okay. Uh, and uh, physical topology identify the physical location of the device and cabling you can understand logical topology show the identified devices and ports and the movement of traffic logical topology ke di kiyan topology ke di apata pennanne me device wala dina ananyatawe s1 devices ekada s2 devices ekada meka switch ekada router ekada dikela identify karala apata pennana logical topology ka use karana kota e wagema thamai e ए डिवाइसेस वैदिक लगी है ना पोर्ट्स मनो आधा में ये वाले संबंध लगे केबल वाले पोर्ट्स मनो आधा इट वासे के ट्रैफिक के मूव इन्हें को मत दिखला लॉजिकली बाला गान ना पूर्व आगे बिल्ड में लॉजिकल टॉपोलॉजी है कहती एक है ना मैं मैं इतना मैं देखा मारूं हाँ पिसिकल लेके याने कर दिया place our devices devices physically only physically we can we can we can see switch in here 
uh, cable uh, plug in the switch and different things and logical topology we can't see where the physical devices are located we can't see only physical topology we can see where is the devices are placed logical topology okay logical topology in the lo in the lo in the logical topology we can identify what the devices we are put on our screen and what the cable are connected to the uh, our ports how much ports are in the switch and different things okay and our traffic movement one data uh, one data one pdu or how to pdu going to the another distant destination like this okay i think clear devices, devices are, are located, located and how they're cabled so here in physical view i have my packet tracer up but on the left side of my packet tracer i have a couple images that we're going to be utilizing with this walkthrough video now these are just commercial images that I have the right to use. I have some graphics we'll bring in regarding world views, city views, and even an office view. So let's get started and have some fun. In physical view, by default, we can zoom out a little bit and we can see we get this depiction of what a city would look like logically. And then we even have a little home city container that we're going to work with in a little bit. For now, right now I'm in the inter-city level of physical view. This is as far out as you can get. So in order to actually change this graphic, I'm going to go to the top right corner and click on Set Background. Instead of Set Background, I'll use the Browse button, and I'm going to browse for a graphic that I have on my desktop. I want to have the NASA image as my inter-city view, as far out as I can get in physical view. I'll just double-click on it, and then I'll click on Apply, and check this out. My physical view has a depiction of the entire world. And I can use my magnifying glass to zoom in a little bit, and we can scroll over and take a look at North America and all these other continents. And also, you can... Uh, and now, right above North America? You, you can, you can uh, put your physical uh, location in uh, anything, and you can add the background for your uh, physical user interface. I can, I can have, have this it. next item or container I can go into, and this is going to be our city view. I can click on it, and now I'm in a city. I can zoom out again, and we see the default image that we have here for what a city would look like, but let's choose our own. I'll click on Set Background again, browse for my image on my desktop, and now inside of here, let's take a graphic of Minneapolis. We'll take this one. You can double-click on it, click Apply, and again, I can zoom in again, recenter my image. And now I have this image of Minneapolis here. And I have another container that's built by Packet Tracer by default. And this container is called Corporate Office. I can put this in the sky, or I can drag and drop it on top of any one of the buildings in my image. Now, the neat thing here is this is another container that'll take us to another image. But what if I had this amazing network with multiple offices? Well, here at the top with these buttons, I can click on New Building and check it out. I get another container. And with these containers, you can actually click on the text right below them, and you can change the names of your buildings. So you can change Corporate Office to be something else. You can change Office Building to be, again, anything you like. At the same time, we're going to be able to use some other buttons that we'll see in just a little bit, but I don't need a second Office Building. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the red X, and I'll click on that Office Building to delete it. So let's continue to play, though. Let's go into our corporate office building, which is this building here in Minneapolis. I'll click on corporate office. And again, I can zoom out. And we get this default topology of what an office floor plan or blueprint would look like. Well, we can use the default one in Packet Tracer. Or I can click on Set Background, Browse. And just like before, I'll go to the desktop on my computer. And I have a blueprint of an office ready to go. I can double click on it and click Apply. And now here I have an office blueprint. Again, I can zoom in a little bit, adjust my graphic, and there's something waiting for us. There's another default icon made by Packet Tracer, which is a container for the wiring closet. I can drag and drop this wiring closet in whatever room I want. I'll put it in my network closet over here. And I can even click on this container. And now I just have a blank white space. Like, let's do another graphic. Not yet. 
in this wiring closet, we're going to have some fun. This is where we're going to put our network devices for our office building that's in the city of Minneapolis, which is on planet Earth, like we saw in that image when we started. So let's go ahead and click on our network devices. And then down below, I want to have a WAN device. Let's click on the cloud for WAN emulation. I would like a cable modem. So I'll click on cable modem, and I'll click on my physical topology in my main wiring closet. I'll see I have a table now, and on the table is a cable modem. Also, that cable modem should probably attach to something. So I'm going to go ahead and click on a firewall. That'll be in the security category. And there's the 5505 Cisco ASA firewall. I'll click on it, and let me try to put it on the table. Click on the table, and it says, no, thank you. It puts it in a wiring network rack. From there, my firewall is deployed. How about we get ourselves a router? So I'll go and head over to the wireless devices, and I'll just click on a WRT300N wireless router. I'll click on it, and I'll click on the table. And now I have a wireless router as well. Lastly, it'd be nice to have a PC somewhere. So I'll click on end device, and we'll have a PC or a server. Let's go with a server. I'll click on the server, and I'll click on the table. It says, no thanks, and it puts it in my network rack. So right now, I physically have a wireless router, a cable modem, an ASA firewall, and a server. But nothing's cabled yet. So for ease of cabling, and also I wanted to show you something, we're going to go back to the logical view. Go ahead and click on the logical icon, top left corner. And here's all the devices. They're just randomly placed in logical view. So logically, we're going to move our devices around a little bit, get them organized, and then we're going to cable them. So for cabling, we'll just click on the orange connections button, click on the connection for automatically choose, and we'll just click on the cable modem and click on the firewall. The cable modem will hook directly to the firewall. We'll do it again, automatic cable selection, the firewall to the wireless router, then the wireless router to the server. At this time, our devices are physically cabled, but we don't really have a depiction of what this physically looks like. So let's go back to the physical view again by clicking on the physical tab and check it out. We see colored cables now interconnecting our devices. We can zoom in a little bit and let's scroll over to that table. And we can actually hover over the orange cable coming off of the cable modem, and it tells us this cable is destination device is hooked to the ASA firewall. The destination port is Ethernet 00 and even the cable length. If I scroll over and take a look at that network rack, there's the firewall with the orange cable that goes to the cable modem. Then there's a green cable on our ASA firewall, and this says it goes to the destination device of wireless router. We can then head over to the wireless router, hover over the green port connected into the internet port on the wireless router, and it says, yeah, this goes to the ASA firewall. The other port here is connected to our server. We'll see that pop up as well. We can then scroll over and take a look at the server, and we'll see that green port, which is connected to that wireless router. So we can physically see how our networks are built. Now, to close it all up, let's have one more piece of awesome fun. Go back by clicking the back button, and this takes you back one level. And look at this. Well, it's all blue now. But what does that mean? We'll click back again. Now there's this bubble around our main office. This bubble is your wireless signal. That's kind of cool. You play with wireless settings, you can adjust it. But this is our one office building. And again, when we click on that office building, we can see our wireless coverage, and we see our wiring closet. But a lot of buildings have multiple wiring closets. So you can go ahead and click on New Closet. In the top left corner, Packet Tracer gives you a new wiring closet. Drag and drop it wherever you want, click on it, and now you can deploy a whole other table of equipment and devices. We'll back up and go all the way out, our office, the city we work in, the office building in that city, go back further, the planet you're on, and check it out. All your graphics have been modified, and you can click through your physical view, organize your devices, and view how things are physically placed and cabled. Please take the time to practice and play with Cisco Packet Tracer and the physical view. It is a great way to learn about connecting devices and interconnecting the world. It is here, not there. Okay, uh, it is the physical view. Okay, I'm going to the physical view in uh, my things. I'm not sure in here. I'm not in here. I'm not sure 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 in here. I'm going to. Okay, uh, this is the physical view in my things. I get the things. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Okay, we are going to do practical things to what the video says and <clears throat> you can hear there is no, no devices in here. Okay, so 
think about you you are going to uh, build network in uh, your own server or more lab or any company so you are going to build those things in physically not in packet tracer practically you you go to the company and you go to the it department and you get the jobs and you are uh, going to design the uh, network and you implement that uh, network and you can configure it so i'm going to physical mode in here we can use those uh, tools and zoom in zoom out and different things so you can see in here this is large uh, picture uh, background okay this is large picture background this is like as a uh, think this is a uh, sri lanka okay all included players in uh, sri lanka not china or uh, company or america or anything this is only sri lankan map okay think like as so this is a uh, sri lankan map and in here this is the uh, something called we can use uh, that's a province okay this is a like as province uh, only all sri lanka and this is a province so uh, we can uh, zoom in here oh sorry So this is uh, the background, and we can go in here. Uh, this is corporate office. So, I mean, it's a lot of things. I don't know. I make a company. I kill it all. I think this is a, like as a company. So this is the uh, com company. Uh, yes, this is the company. Okay, this is a one section, and uh, this is another section. So you can get the container. This is the I think uh, yes, create uh, new city. Uh, if you have, if your company have a uh, lot of branches, and you can create uh, branches using this new city. Oops. Yeah. So now you have a new city. Okay. You can uh, you can design uh, one network for this home city, and you can design the one network for in this city. so if you want to new uh city you can go in here and you can uh, double click on the uh, your new city and you can see uh, what is this okay now we we can't create the new city we are in the we are we are in the city okay we are in the city and we can create the new building in our uh, existing uh city okay so if you click in here okay if you click in here create new building you can uh, create new building in uh, existing uh, area okay and so you can uh, click in here so you can see corporate office this is the, your office building okay this is your office building if you want to uh, new generic container so this is one one container is this this is the one rack for one server room or any uh, devices which are included in your office so if you want to uh, another server room like as this is a one server server room a if if, uh, if you you think uh, if you want to server room uh, b in here you can go in here and create generic container we call uh, those server rooms uh, the container generic container if you click here so you can uh, see in like that and uh, table and close it yeah make it in a in a table like okay let's go to the these things okay uh, you can see now in here uh, this is the server rack and uh, you can see in here 
This is uh, you can see table and uh, server right. So if we click in here, there is no equipment in here because we uh, we are not uh, create the. Yeah, we are not place the devices in this, but uh, uh, sitting with physical tab, physical mode, we can we can also declare our devices in here. So I'm going to uh, get uh, some uh, end devices. No, uh, I'm going to get the network devices like a switch. So I put switch in here. So you can automatically uh, as a rack. Okay, automatically rack generate no. Ita matro e rack ke dinner power stika e tika generate no. So uh, and uh, automatically generate uh, rack if I created X. this is uh, this is the create a new rack no. Uh, this is the close up generate right there. And uh, if I put a new switch in here also do, uh, that. Uh, switch are uh, placed on existing rack. If I want to another rack in here, so I can uh, go in here and create new rack. So you can see we have a double rack in here. So now I can uh, go to the get one switch and I can use uh, use uh, switch in here. So if I want to connect uh, those switch, I don't think so. Ah, no, no. Ah, yes. If I going to uh, plug in here and plug in here, so you can see what's happening here. We can also design uh, those uh, design with physical mode. So uh, we can easily define, we can easily uh, declare our network using logical term. And also we can use our physical tab to design our network and we can uh, use physical mode how to connect it, how to connect those devices in our network clearly. That is a don't you understand? Okay. Come to the bus stand, Kadrula. Okay. Understand. Okay. Uh, I I'm 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 going in here. You can problem. Okay. We have two racks, and we uh, go to the some uh, end devices like PCs, and we put in here. So if we put the PCs here, and so. This is our PC on the desk, right? This is our PCs and we can put our laptops in here. And we can have our servers in here. This is like as a server. If you are trying to print in here, we can put all things in here. You can print. Yeah, this is our printer. Okay, so this is the physical view. Make a physical view. We can make a physical view. We can make a design view. Make a little racks, you know, default in a uh, container. I make a uh, can a generic uh, cross of the uh, default in a can I mean default make a bit of a metering gila with our uh, rack car container at Toraganda. Very in it default and I can make a bula about a gila. The main maker, if we use the uh, these things, this this is like as a server, no a uh, room, so we can go to the in here. I don't know what that. Don't think about uh, think uh, all 
on the DMX. Okay. Did you get uh, Did you get under some ideas about how to use physical mood? Huh? Venusian? Venusian? Can you hear me? Have you got any idea about physical view? Physical view again, idea of car, you want sir? Okay, so what, uh, so in here uh, we can use uh, physical views for navigate the physical workshop and we can add uh, cities and uh, corporate offices and branch offices our uh, place and uh, wiring closes the office we can use uh, wiring method and we can see we can see how to wiring method is used in our physical view and uh, we can place our network devices into the closest like as uh, we can put switches, routers, and servers on one rack, like that. So you can, uh, you can go, you can get this packet trace and you can study things. Okay, a physical view uh, in this lab, you will explore the value of packet trace. I'm not going to do this practical. You can do the practical. Uh, yeah, you can also uh, do this and open physical view in packet tracer and apply physical view of black down device. I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm not. I'm not teach how to uh, set black ground image because you know how to set black ground image in your window computer window black black ground so this is also like cache and container container means uh, container container means uh, is a room uh, yes it is a room like including uh, servers and other things. Okay, you can do this. I'm not doing this. Okay, I am come to here. Let's move the packet tracer. And packet tracer file types. Okay, packet tracer file types. Packet tracer. Uh, <coughs> packet tracer has a ability to create uh, three different type of files. So there are three different uh, file types available in Packet Tracer. These uh, file types are used to different purpose of include uh, .pkt, .pkz, and .pka. The .pkt uh, file is used when a simulated network is built in Packet Tracer and saved. The .pkt file can also have background embedded within it. And uh, if you are doing uh, packet tracer activity or if you are designing packet tracer activity and if you are used to uh, if, if you if you can save it on your laptop uh, any desktop and if you are save you are designing on your laptop you can use dot uh, pkt extension to save your file on your computer and uh, the dot uh, pkz file type is not used very often okay dot uh, uh, pkz file type is not uh, used normally uh, because uh, it is uh, compressed that allow the inclusion of other files such as pdf file along with the packet tracer file i don't know actually what the how to work with dot pkz type i'm not working with dot pkz uh, but uh, there is uh, some meaning in here. There is uh, normal we don't uh, use the PKZ file, and if we design something and we want to print out something, 
like uh, like as pdf so we can we can uh, put our design file into the .pkz file and we can got print um, uh, soft copy for print out and we can get hard copy and the pka file uh, type is packet uh, tracer activity file so this mean if i design activity using packet tracer for you i must or i shouldn't uh, yes also i should i should save uh, using those dot uh, pka packet tracer if you are genius with packet tracer so you can create and uh, design packet tracer activities and you can do your uh, friends and troubleshoot them also we also we use uh, those dot uh, pka file types uh, in ccna or other things or any available activities in courses this file types contain the packet tracer activity plus an instruction window we can uh, we can assign uh, packet tracer activity instruction window for those packet tracer uh, activity file and uh, i i have no things yeah in, uh, in future i will show you those things container percentage and tracker make the when ne api samanyen api samanyen karana design ekak ehema nath api packet tracer ekak pavichcha karala design ekak karata passe eka abita machine ekak save karaganna puluwam pkt kiyana file extension ekak pavichcha karala etoda abita eka ay parak use ay abita eka ay parak open karala abita edit karaganna hakiyawak thiyena डिसन कर PKA. PK PK means packet P A A assessment type packet tracer assessment type. Okay, let's uh, go to the. Hello. Hello, everyone. This is our Cisco packet tracer assessment usage walkthrough through video. In this video, we're going to take a look at two ways that Cisco Packet Tracer can be utilized within your netacad.com assessments. Now, this is pretty cool because we've already become masters of Packet Tracer, or we're getting there, and now we'll actually be able to utilize it inside of our exam environments itself. So here I am in a random course I chose called Networking Essentials, in an exam I chose called Chapter 1 through 5 Checkpoint Exam. Now, in this exam, it's full of multiple choice questions. And it just so happens that one or maybe a few of them have Packet Tracer integrated into it. Now, I didn't do too well in my last exam. I got a 0%, but now that you're here, I think we can do better. So I'm going to go ahead and click on resume my last attempt, and I should be able to load up the exam. 
Now, I need to change my screen size a little bit, so let me just resize my window and we'll continue. Awesome. So now that we were resized, I can click on continue. And when I click on continue, it's going to ask me to run a Java file. So I'm going to open that Java file. Then I'll get a Java applet that asks me to run. And we'll go ahead and click on that as well. And now, in the bottom left corner, packet trace will start to initialize on my machine. And it's. This is the how to do our practical assignment given by Cisco another course. So, uh, in this is the old version because uh, now uh, version uh, has not uh, has not gone to Java applet or Java any things. Uh, I think because I'm not installed Java in here, but I do a lot of activities. It's going to be able to be utilized, utilized in this multiple choice exam. So we'll sit here and wait, but it's going to make it through nine different steps of loading. Then we should be able to click on the begin assessment button. So jump to nine out of nine. And now I'm here at ready. I can click begin assessment. Now the multiple choice exam loads up and this is full of many different questions. This exam happens to have 26 questions, but one or multiple of these is going to have a packet tracer component inside of it. And sorting through these questions rather quickly, we'll find the one that does. It's right here. I can click on that question and check this out. Open the packet tracer activity, perform the task in the activity instructions, and then answer the question. What is the code displayed on the web page? What web page? Well, we have to click on Launch PT, and this is going to allow us to actually have the exam provide us the packet tracer file. Our machine will open the packet tracer file. We'll be able to do the steps and the instructions, and we can answer the question. So let's do it. I can take this packet tracer topology, move it over to the right, take the instructions, move it to the left. And because this packet tracer item, it's part of a large exam. So we don't have a huge instruction set. It's just one question in the exam. So we'll follow through the instructions, do whatever needs to be configured, and then we should be able to view a code that's displayed on a web page. After we found that code, you can just go ahead and minimize your packet tracer, choose the right answer for what that code is. Maybe it's well done, maybe it's success. I like configured, I'm right? Guessing. I'm guessing. And then, and then when we finish, finish all of our questions, questions in this chat, uh, you can see this is the packet tracer question in uh, network essential courses, and uh, there are some MCQ question. Uh, yes, there are a lot of MCQ question in uh, those exam, and otherwise uh, you can see uh, they provided the packet tracer activities, and you can do packet tracer activities and got answer and. Uh, selected those th those things, okay, okay. If you can't launch packet tracer, uh, don't worry. All answers are in the internet. We use that method. Checkpoint exam. We can go ahead and click submit, and we click submit. Packet tracer is going to take all of the items that we've done an answer for, and it'll give us a grade back at the end. Now, it doesn't like that I didn't answer a lot of those questions, so it gives me a little bit of a warning here. I'm going to click Grade Assessment anyways. After clicking Grade Assessment, didn't beat my last score of zero. I'm still there, but we're able to take a look at our feedback and see how we did for this entire exam. Now, this is just one type of utilizing Packet Tracer within assessments. Let's take a look at one that's even more powerful. So I'm going to close off this window, and I have another item that we're going to take a look at. And this one's actually called the Packet Tracer Skills Assessment. This one I also scored a zero on. I got to work on my skill set. I'm going to hop into the retake assessment, and we're going to go and take a look at what is called a PTSA. Now, first off, I get a pop-up window for Java. I'll click OK. Then I got to do some resizing of my window again. So my window is resized. I need to run the Java applet just like before. Then if I scroll down, we can actually watch Packet Tracer initialize. Now this is called a PTSA, which is a Packet Tracer Skills Assessment. And with this, it's not full of multiple choice questions. 
This is going to be a standalone single packet tracer file similar to the PKAs we have may have mentioned previously. And with that being said, we're going to have a full blown huge instruction set because it's just one big skills assessment. So we'll watch the loading steps go all the way up to eight, then we should be able to click on start assessment. So it loaded up, we have two hours to complete our assessment, I'll go ahead and click on start. When I click on start, Packet Tracer will give me the file on my machine and I'll be able to complete this activity and we're going to see how our answers are going to be uploaded back. It's pretty sweet. So let me move over this lab topology as it comes online, put it on the right. download <laughs> activity before If anyone, if anyone sitting in here, not doing uh, uh, like this activity before, how are you acting a caro netting a kin of the carla vino and the one? Our Venusian? Oh. ना Amadana, did you do, do like this activity before? Amza, I think Kerala did not make activity. Ka. Chatera, chatera, Amza. Okay, and how about Hamza? Hamza, did you do uh, like this activity before? Hamza? Okay, I hope uh, all are doing uh, like this activity before. Okay, I move to the next slide. We are going to the faster. And okay, uh, this is the packet tracer usage. Okay, uh, <clears throat> packet tracer usage. This is the usage investigation to the packet tracer physical view. We can use the packet tracer for uh, if we, if we, if we are design our network logically and we can see how those devices are uh, integrated uh, with each other uh, using physical view. Okay, and uh, explain we explain uh, packet tracer file type and assessment type and we know uh, we discuss how to save our files or oh, no uh, this is how to our save our files uh, 
okay if you are if you uh, please things uh, this is your network and you uh, uh, build this networks and you can go in here you can see file tab and you can uh, select those things uh, as a pkz and as uh, save as and save not use the save if you can uh, use the save as tool and you can save uh, if you want any any uh, places so i'm going to save this is save as and uh, i'm so uh, this is the my directory and i'm use this i'm use in here and i'm use music file and open uh oh no and i'm going to picture okay this is my picture directory and i'm use my first dot pkt file okay pkt file so i can save in here and you can see in here the file name is change this is a file change my first pkt okay enough things so you can know uh, what's the pkt file extension and pkz it is a very rarely used like as a pdf and uh, packet tracer assignment file types okay if you want to uh, go into deeply and you can study this and packet uh, tracer basic quiz i am not going in here Okay, let's move to the file chapter five and introduce IoT uh, component in packet tracer. You know what is the meaning of in uh, IoT component? It's meaning of uh, internet uh, Internet of Things. Internet of Things. What are the Internet of Things devices? You can see in here uh, end devices. Sorry. Uh, uh, here is the end devices, and you can see in here. PC, laptop, servers, uh, Mac server, printer, iPhone, V loops, and different things. This is a all uh, yeah, is this. Okay, uh, sorry, home networks, and this is also uh, IoT devices: battery, fan, thermometer, buffer, and uh, lamps, and fan, and another um, one here. The one that you know, and all things are IoT devices. Okay, uh, introduce IoT and packet tracer. You can uh, you can use the IoT devices and you can design the network. If you are going to computer network, uh, you can build server rack and uh, printers, such as uh, like this. And if you can uh, also build IoT network. If you if you want to you if you want to build small network in your home using CCTV and Springer and uh, fans, also wireless router and different things, we can put all things in here and we can connect it and we can use those things for our opportunity. In simple terms, IoT is a connection in network sensor. Okay, connected sensor, accurator, and smart devices, and collected charts there. Packet Tracer 7 contains uh, many uh, new features to support IoT. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I, I, I explain those things in one, before one second. Okay, configure IoT uh, device using the packet tracer and uh, configure devices. One opens. IoT, I can no matter that. Chalo, kuch any work nahi. No problem. We can do this and uh, to read before we can see the beautiful videos in here. So I put sound and you can see in here. Hello everyone, this is our Cisco Packet Tracer Internet of Things walkthrough video. In this video, we're gonna interact with many different IoT devices here in this smart home 
within Cisco Packet Tracer. So this is just a house, and all these devices I put on top of it make it into a smart home. So where did all these devices even come from? Well, here in the bottom left corner, we see by default we're in network devices. Here we can see we have categories for routers, switches, hubs, wireless devices, and even security. We're going into end devices. So I'll click on end devices, and here we'll see our common end devices, our PCs and laptops, printers and phones and TVs. But besides that, there's even other subcategories. For example, home. Inside of home, we'll see air conditioning units, smart appliances like coffee makers. We'll see speakers and ceiling fans, smoke detectors, and even lamps and lawn sprinklers. All these items that we can try to interact with and control here in Cisco Packet Tracer. It's very easy to deploy. All we'd have to do is click on one and click on our screen, and then it's on our house. We'll be setting up one of those later. Our next subcategory, we can even see a smart city. It includes street lamps, more on solar panels, and even wind detectors. We can go further and take a look at industrial, and even go further than that, and power grid items. All of these being deployable here in Cisco Packet Tracer. So let's take a look at our current house as it is right now. With our smart house, we have our ceiling fan. We have our thermostat, smoke detector, smart lamp, our appliance, which is a coffee maker, and even our door with opening and closing and locking, and a garage door. At the top, we have a battery backup system, as well as a solar panel that is receiving energy from the sun. Now, all the way at the bottom by the pool, there is a lawn sprinkler. We'll be utilizing that later on. In the middle of our house, we have something called an MCU, and this is a microcontroller. And this allows us to actually program events for when the front door or the ceiling fan should be turned on or turned off automatically based on variables. Besides that, at the top, we have what's called a home gateway. And this is how we're going to be interconnecting all of our IoT devices here in this smart house. So we click on the home gateway. We can see here that we go to the physical tab. In the physical tab, we can see our physical view of what the home gateway looks like. It has four network ports on the front and an internet port, as well as multiple wireless antennas for connectivity. In our config tab, we can see what type of interfaces are here and what we can configure. For the GUI tab, we can see that there's an index.php file. This is used for a registration server that's on the home gateway. This is going to allow us to remotely or locally manage all of our IoT devices that are network capable from sitting on a web page. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. In the Attributes tab, we can see our MTBF for mean time between or before failure, the cost, power source, and some basic other information. So how do we interact with these devices? Well, we can either have them registered with our home gateway and control them via web page, but there's another way too. We're able to click on these while we hold down our Alt key. For example, this smart coffee maker is off right now. If I hold down my Alt key, I can left click on the coffee maker and it turns on, the light goes on. I can click on it again and it turns off. Same with the smart lamp, it's off right now, but if I hold down my Alt key and left click on it, it turns on, click on it again, it goes brighter, and then it turns off. Now we can deploy new devices very quickly and easy inside of Cisco Packet Tracer, as well as we can hook them up to to be controlled very quickly as well. So right now I have a lawn sprinkler. What I can do is I can click on it and we can take a look at a couple of the features and settings on it. When I click on the lawn sprinkler, it tells us this is a sprinkler for the lawn. We're able to have it registered to a registration server so we can control it. And this thing's gonna raise the water level. That's the purpose of the lawn sprinkler. It will put out water. Down below, we can see we can all click on it to directly interact with it. And also we can remotely control it via a registration server. So how does this registration server work? Because that's what we're about to utilize. First, I need to go on a machine that can access that web page on the home gateway. So I'll click on the tablet. On the tablet, I'll go to my desktop tab and my web browser. I'm going to put in the IP address of that home gateway, which is 192.168.25.1. That's the default IP. When I hit enter, it'll ask me for a username and password. The default is admin for both of those. So check it out, all these devices here are registered to the home gateway. So I can go ahead and click on any of these items like the smart coffee maker and I can actually turn it on or turn it off from here. 
And as you make changes in this system, you'll be able to see it live occurring on the devices. So I'll turn on the coffee maker and now it's on. And then I can even turn it off. Same with other items like the lamp. I can put the lamp on dim, goes on low, put on on, which is high, or again, turn it off. So how do we add our own device to this? Well, we have this lawn sprinkler and it's kind of boring to have to go outside and turn the water on and off. What if it could be remotely controlled? Well, we can make it happen. So what we're gonna do is we'll click on the lawn sprinkler. And now in the lawn sprinkler, I'm gonna to go to my config tab. In the config tab is a wireless adapter for my lawn sprinkler. I'm gonna make sure I set it up though so it actually utilizes a wireless password and I have to type that in. And that's gonna be my secret key. By doing this, I wanna make sure it gets an address and hooks to wireless. I see the wireless connection came through and it hit the home gateway. Now I'm on the wireless network, but lastly, we need to tell it to actually hook up. And we'll go more into detail on this in a later video. Use a home gateway for the registration IoT server. At this time, this lawn sprinkler should be connected to that home gateway. And if I go back to my tablet, check it out. At the bottom here, where we did not see before, now we see lawn sprinkler, grass. I can click on it, and look at that, right now the lawn sprinkler is off. From sitting with my tablet on the couch in my smart house, I can tell that status to go green by clicking on it, and now I'm watering the lawn remotely. This could have been done locally on my smart home network, or even externally from something on the internet if I set up the home gateway to be accessible. So take your time, play with Cisco Packet Tracer, and build your own convenient and awesome smart home networks. I got another video in the middle. Have you got idea in video? Yes. Have you got the idea? How to make the smart car? Huh? How to? Yeah, Cora, I think in Nega Utter than I mean, you don't have to renew the Utter than any. So, who can be here? The mega UTD is a lump alone, eh? So, there has different tabs like as a PCs. Okay. So we go on to the in here and we can see this is the uh, home home as a applicant. Okay, this is the T port or copy port and you can select in here. is going to stop. Okay, this is the copy port and you can see in here and there are different tabs in uh, copy port and specification and physical and configure and attributes. This is the attributes and this is the configure. Configure has uh, some settings and you can see a uh, display what is the name of this is IoT zero, IoT zero. This is the device's name and this is the serial number. And if we, uh, if we put uh, in here uh, gateway or uh, DHCP server, we, we want to uh, assign the IP for those each devices, all devices to work, to get work. And in here you can see uh, default gateways and IoT servers, we create the IoT servers and uh, we do a lot of things, okay.
okay this is packet trace uh, activities uh, let's do these activities because i am not doing uh, any iot activities one more time okay packet trace add in the iot uh, device this is the pdf file i am going to get the packet tracer file oh mokada me iot wala weda karana nan samanyen latest version ekak da ganna one mokada iot wala latest latest version ekak da weda karanna thoda ek update ekak da ganna one okay uh, now you can see in here uh, our uh, iot project so what we want to do start up next for the existing home uh, networks at wired iot devices to the home network okay uh, in the first part explore the existing uh, start home network open the smart home network.pkt file we start up and we open it and save your computer okay no problem and explore other smart home explore the iot end devices so in here you can see uh, what what are the end devices okay this is the smart fan this is a iot device and tablet iot device temperature meter iot device smoke detector mcu board and uh, smart door and garage door uh, smart lamp smart coffee maker battery and solar panel these are all are iot devices <coughs> at the bottom of the corner of the packet tracer window locate and the click end devices icon top of the row then home icon button view the device uh, type uh, device type selection okay in here you can see uh, in here this is called as uh, device selector box and you can see the home 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 yeah in the when devices so you can see the home so in here this is the all iot devices uh, visible in here okay no problem and explore the smart home networks okay it's ready for us and uh, if you are going to in here and we can uh, move cursor to the smart fan so you can see the description in uh, new dialog box මේක සිම්පලි දැන් මේක ඇක්ටිවේට් කරන්න නම් මේකේ අපි ගිහලා ඕල්ට් එක ඔබාගෙන පොඩ්ඩක් කියලා ඉඳන් මේ කරන එක ඕන මේක පත්තු වෙනවා ඉතින් ඕන් වෙනවා මේක ඕන් වෙනවා ඕෆ් වෙනවා දැන් දැන් ගිහලා නම් ඕක ඕන් වෙන්නේ නැහැ නේ ටෙම්පරේචර් ටසේ කේබල් මොඩම් ओके Yes, and this is the name and GUI. Those uh, two devices are always on, and no problem. Before get page work. Okay, we move to the next chapter. So in here, uh, we want to create in and control a smart uh, home network. And shall we go to start? Connecting and monitoring IoT devices using the home network gateway. अरे मामा में आईओटी आईओटी ये करे बोलता ज्ञान नहीं है मुझे मेरे के में मरे बोलता क्यों है आउट ज्ञान है मामा के बोलता कि स्टडी कर लेना है मतलब अनित्य का अनित्य वाले नेटवर्क का ना कि आईओटी वाले बोलता क्यों मानसिक रहने हैं सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट द 
IoT devices and how to deploy it because I'm not doing this. I think uh, one time or two time I do this activity, but I, I can't remember now. Have you any question about uh, previous section? Also, I, 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 I will do uh, those three chapter in uh, future. And uh, after studying IoT uh, with, uh, and I, if I got knowledge about IoT devices, I will uh, share my knowledge with you. I, I can't uh, give uh, bad knowledge for you. So I'm not, not knowing. I have any question? Have you any question, Lamai? Make a rupu ticket, Munoahari Prashnathin, or may make a salam and then I the dama packet tracer again, come with a device at the Dagani, it a packet tracer, a pavichigan and a come with a it was take a configuration mood taken and a come with a simulation take a packet take a balag and a come with a it was a logical idea to make all the items the Anicom, the Anneadigan, the Dagani, Eka. Can a wallet out of the other than at the mummy? IOT can a current day and never IOT, Mama, a caparacar, they got Kerdama, Mama. Studies Kerla the Ne in the Mama IOT than ne IOT no then a wallet, Kira the Namada with the Ne. Uh, over the Mahitana make a packet as a director of the connect me, IOT and a Aria than Nadia. IOT among the massacre with the IOT. You want to pass him over to the Bala, I got Kerana Balana IOT. I can make a market pass with the Kinak and again. A month in a pass to make out of the install gun there in the Nathamaka and if I tell you that the packet tracer. If you have any doubts about the packet tracer, and tell me now because I'm not going to conduct an IoT section because I'm I I have no knowledge about IoT configuration or any devices because one time or two time I do it. But I'm, I have not those things. Uh, if I uh, if if I if I got uh, those knowledge in future, I will share with you. And don't worry about that. If you like to do IoT uh, things, you can study those packet tracer in yourself. This is not a very complicated courses. This is a very simple courses. Okay. Have any question? This is the question time. Q and ask. Q and A. Okay. Tell me your, tell me, tell me some things and any things you want to know about. Packet tracer again, brush with another. Packet tracer again, brush with another. Install the window Huh? I was in the night. Oh, I was in the night. 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 Okay. Software application install double click install Software yeah. Samara Software Samara Software you know, package a bit install kind of magazine Okay. 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 Double click install and coding. No, Linux, Linux platform, Linux software install coding. 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 Linux software install Whenever the other American wine neck, wine killer, thin white job, the other 
ಅದು ಬೇಡ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಡಿಗೆ ಗಿರಿದ ವಿಂಡೋಸ್ ಮೆಷಿನ್ ಅದನ್ನಾಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಮಾಟ ಪಾವು ವಿಂಡೋಸ್ ವಿಂಡೋಸ್ ಮಾಟ ಮತ ಗಮನ ತಿವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅರೆ ಆಯ್ಮನಾರಿ ಭಾಷಣ ದಿನ ಪುರಶ್ನ ದಿನದ ಪುರಶ್ನ ಪುರಶ್ನ ದಿನದ ಪುರಶ್ನ ಅಂತಿಮ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಕೊಸ್ತಿಲ್ಲ <laughs> 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 ನಾನೇ <laughs> ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ರೇಸರ್ಟ್ರೇಸರ್ ಕನ್ಫಿಗರೇಷನ್ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ <laughs> and how to get into uh, yes how to get those things and things and this is a config tag uh, you can configure something in here you can also give the default gateways and different things and desktop tag you can do the ip configuration and terminal and uh, command line various emails and other things okay i'm not going to do this i'm going to create a small network okay 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 okay, okay. ಅರೆ ಮಮ್ಮ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಖಾದನ ಮೇನ್ ಮೆಹೇಮ ನಮಗನ್ನ ಎಕ್ಸಿ ಅನು ದೇಕ ಡಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿ ಹಟ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಬಿಂದು ಡಾಟ್ ಬಿಂದು ಗೆಲ್ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಯಾಕೆ 
I I got this uh, IP address and I got this uh, mask subnet mask is twenty four. Okay, and I'm also get. I am going to call it again. Indonesia. अरे मगे पलवी नैटवर्क मेक इधर देवनी मेहम देवनी नैटवर्क मेतन ओके इट पास मगर नैटवर्क मेतन 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 अरे मैं कह रही हूँ आप एक गम्मो एक गम्म क्या बिंदु सीरो नेटवर्क के का तो put in here two and we get in here अरे आप नेटवर्क सेट का डिजाइन करने ना ब्राउटर से दाने तो स्विच चली मर डे करके नहीं आमु मम्मे मे आई आई यूज टू दिस कलर्स फॉर टू टू इजी आईडेंटिफाई दोस थिंग्स ओके Okay, there are as uh, four uh, things. Okay, I create in here now my network. I use network device. Uh, no, we get the individual devices. This is a switch, and I use to switch in here. अभी सामान्य पाव इच्छुक ना स्विच चेक तो माय दिदास ना मुझे हटे के ना स्विच चेक अरे वी यूज़ नॉर्मली टू थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी स्विच इन हियर एंड आल्सो यूज़ इन हियर आल्सो यूज़ इन हियर एंड आल्सो यूज़ इन हियर ओके नो प्रॉब्लम एंड आई आई कैन रीनेम दिस स्विच आई यूज़ स्विच जीरो वन दिस इज़ ओनली रीनेम नॉट Uh, name of switch okay uh, if we assign to the uh, some uh, name for switch that's meaning of host uh, host name okay this is not the host name we can also assign uh, this value for host name but this is only label this is only we this this is only label okay this is only label and uh, Okay, you can see this is the I I rename those things and I'm go in here. Okay, I I rename in here switch zero two switch two and in here. Switch three. वड़े पुलाम में का switch एक का switch देखा switch तो मैं क्या लाभ लेने का हम करा करना बोलूँगा। हाँ रे main network ठीक है तो मैं अभी आधार नहीं आने अब मैं कर दागा करना end devices ठीक है right अभी काम में तेरा end devices सब इधर आते हैं कि प्रबुला मेरे पीसी का कनेक्ट करना है काई देखा है 
අපිට පුළුවන් මේකට සර්වර් එකක් කනෙක්ට් කරන්න තුනයි අපිට පුළුවන් මේකට printer එකක් set කරන්න මම printer sort යන්නේ ඊට අපි PC එකක් මොතනින් set කරමු okay and also we can use uh, these things to in here ari mata kiyanna me menna me switch ekey inda me pc ekena mona cable ekena api sambandha karanni mokadda pouch ekena cable eka kiyana banna what is the cable of uh, we used to uh, connect this machine to the switch what is the cable what the pouch ekena cable eka kiyana kiyana Oh, no problem no problem no 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 problem i also uh, pick in here no that's not i uh, use copper straight through cable and you can see in here i click on pc1 so there is uh, another uh, dialog box uh, you you can see rs232 uh, uh, port there is a four port in here so usb to uh, two usb port and fast ethernet port and rs232 ports what's the meaning of this rs232 uh, uh, ports why we use uh, rs232 ports why we use alshani why we use this port the this port what purpose and uh, which uh, which cable we are connected to the this port saman kumar hai ha ho gaya me agar me rs 232 ke port ka din nahi saman console gaane ka api switch ekata console cable laga use karna kota eka console cable lek gaanne me pc ekata den rs 2 2 3 2 ගෙන පෝට් එකට ගන්න. දැන් මේක ගහලා මේක ගැහුවා කියලා මේක වැඩ කරනවා. වැඩ කරන්නේ. ඔන්න ඔන්න USB ද ගැහු ගැයිව. ඔව් දැන් ඒකට ගැහුවා කියන්නේ. දැන් මෙහෙම ගැහුවා කියලා වැඩ කරන්නේ. දැන් ආයෙත් ගිහිල්ලා මෙතන ගිහිල්ලා මම කරන වැඩේ PC 1 එකේ තියෙන NIC එක. يعني fast ethernet 0. I used uh, this PC and click in here, and you can see fast Ethernet uh, NIC uh, ports. Okay, which is the NIC port. We just uh, we just get the copper straight through cable. So we we uh, plug in here one end, and other end is uh, going to connect to the switch and fast Ethernet zero one. you can see fast uh, there there has a 24 ethernet uh, fast ethernet ports in here and 2 gigabits ethernet fast ethernet speed is uh, i think 100 mb ps and gigabit ethernet is 1 gb ps so that's a, a reason and okay uh, i uh, i got another cable and i put in those nic ports Then it two, and I connect to the server. Server has no console port uh, or thirty-two ports because it's a server. Server don't want to configuration any things. Okay, now it's uh, my this is uh, no problem. I connect all things in here. okay uh, now my four networks are ready but i'm not uh, going to uh, connect those networks uh, using switches and um, i'm going to configure those uh, uh, pcs and servers so i i use the 
192.168.1.0/24 uh, uh, sub uh, networks and i use uh, from 100 to 24.6 eda man kiwa me ai me api samanyen main devices walta api ip assign karana wala api 100 walin patan ganna wala samanya api karana wala 100 walin patan gena desi manas ayana gena api ganna kwa ai ehema karanne main devices walta arinda ai api 100 dollar indan desi manas ayana gena api ai palaweni 100 api atarala අපි end devices මේ servers නැතුව අපි මේ තියෙන laptops අනිත් ඒ වලට ඇයි අපි මේ assign කරන්නේ 100 ඩොලර් ඉඳන්. ඒකේ එක මතක නැත්තම් හොයන්න. මම කියන දෙන්නේ ඒක. ඉතින් ඒක restart කරන්න. Okay, I'm going to configure the PC. So this is the 192.181. Okay, I'm going to here and I'm going to desktop and IP configuration. I, I think you know how to configure those things. Okay, I'm not doing this. 192.18.1.100. And you can see default ma mask. It's no problem. Okay. I use the bell get pay like this. DNS server, no DNS server. Okay, first is done. .1. Why we use default gateway Asita? Asita, why we use default gateway? Asita. Tariya Asita ne dida hua pe default gateway ahi dhani ke.
அப்படி போல அப்படி மெட்டன் வெடகரண்ட புழுவாங்க அப்படி புழுவாங்க மெந்த மெத்தனா மெத்தன் அப்படி புழுவாங்க இங்க வந்து மெந்த பேக்கெட்ட கீழே தீனா மெத்தனை எட்டிங் வெட்டணும் மெரிய டைம் மேக்க எட்ட வெட்டணும் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல்லி மேக்க அப்படி சிமுலேஷன் மோட் கேக்க கீழ மேக்க பலகத்தாகி அப்படி புழுவாங்க ஐசிபி பேக்கெட்ட கண்ண தீனி அப்படி எக்கிங் எக்க யா ஒண்ண ஐ பேக்கெட்ட கீ யா மேத்த மா சிமுலேஷன் மோட் கே டிராஃபிக் கே மோண்டா கண்ண விதிய திஸ் இஸ் திஸ் இஸ் this is so you how to monitor the traffic uh, in network with a sim- simulation mode onada palavini ega metanna giya etokota me packet ekak athula thiyena dewal wala thavada balu hagi metana me packet ekak oda click karu pohama mena wedana me packet ekak me thiyena in layer in layer this is the in layer means uh, packet is come to the uh, packet is come to the devices this this uh, this is the packet uh, architecture and this is the how to packet uh, go from devices me dina packet ek me switch ek athulata packet ek enakota e packet ekata packet ek e dina headers wala dina layer 1 ek e dina menna me port fast ethernet ekak hara thama inne etokota me gidena ethernet 2 header ekak etokota me dina me menna dina me mac layer destination එක මේ සෝරි මේ දින සෝස් එක මේ දින්නේ ඩෙස්ටිනේෂන් එකේ මැක් එක එයා බලා ගන්න පුළුවන් ඊට පස්සේ මේ දින්නේ දැන් මේ ඉන් ලේයර් කියන්නේ ස්විච් එක ඇතුළට හරි ඩිවයිස් එක ඩිවයිස් එක ඇතුළට ආව පැකට් එකේ විස්තර මේ දින්නේ ඒ ඩිවයිස් ඒ ආව පැකට් එක ට ආය පාරක් වෙනස්කම් සිදු කරාට පස්සේ ඒ පැකට් එකෙන් එළියට යන මේ ඩිවයිස් එකෙන් එළියට යන පැකට් එකේ විස්තර තමයි මේ දින්නේ හරි සෝ වී කැන් යූස් දිස් ඇරෝ කී ඇන් we can also see now icm packet is coming and reply packet this is the reply packet goes and this icm packet is also uh, received from source dang me adannawa pc1 eka dannawa icm packet ekak yawala beluwa ah machan uba innawada kiyala harada etawana meya kiyena meya meya ta metan daada wase meya piliturak yawana meya me reply packet ekak yawana yawada pase ඔව් මචං මම මෙතන ඉන්නවා හරි එහෙනම් මචං මම උඹට ඩෙට් එකේ වන්නම් කියලා ඒ වගේ සංවාදයක් තමයි මෙතන යන්නේ ඔබට 3 ෂෙක් හැන්ඩ් ෂේක් ෆ්‍රීවේ හැන්ඩ් ෂේක් ඔය ඔය තියෙන එක හරිද හරි එතකොට ඊළඟ එක තමයි දැන් අපි බලමු ඔය ගාම බේසික් කොන්ෆිගරේෂන් ස්විච් එකක දින බේසික් කොන්ෆිගරේෂන් මොනවද කියලා දැන් මේවා ටික දී කනෙක්ට් කරන්න යන්නේ නැහැ संबंध करेबल මේ ස්විච් 1 එකයි මේ ස්විච් 2 එකයි මේ කනෙක්ට් කරන්න මම මේකට ෆයිබර් කේබල් එකක් ගහනවා දැන් මට පුළුවන් මේකට ක්‍රොස් ඕවර් කේබල් මේ ස්ට්‍රේට් රූට් කේබල් එකක් ගහන්න මෙතන සිලෙක්ට් කරා මට ඕන නම් මේ වලට ගහන්න පුළුවන් අපි සාමාන්‍ය ගිගාබිට් ඊතරෙට් වල තමයි ගහන්න ස්විච් ස්විච් කනෙක්ට් කරනකොට හරි දැන් ඒක ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ ඒක වැදුණ ඕකේ වී කැන් යූස් ස්ට්‍රේට් කේබල් ටු ජොයින් කනෙක්ට් සොරි කනෙක්ට් ටු ද two switches and i uh, so this is will be work no problem i deleted it and i use the crossover cable and i got in here and here so you can see no problem uh, i think yeah yeah it is uh, work also and i'm uh, going to uh, use the fiber optic cable so i use fiber optic cable to connect those switches and i uh, select here and i uh, i click on uh, gigabit ethernet or fast ethernet or any uh, ports so there is uh, some error message the cable cannot be connected to the that port okay so uh, in gigabit ethernet we can uh, we cannot uh, just uh, gigabit ethernet port we cannot assign the uh, fiber optic cable 
So we try to the connect to the fast Ethernet cable. So you can see we can't uh, uh, do that. Why we can't do that? Why we can't use fiber optic cable in the, in this moment? In this moment, why we can't use fiber optic cable to connect those switches? Why? Anyone can reply. Anyone can reply why we can't use fiber optic cable in this moment, in this moment, okay, in this moment, not uh, any other things, in this moment, why we can't use fiber optic cable to connect those switches. Hey, apita me switch. Then mama, me dragatta cross straight straight copper cable lagatta straight copper cable lega me dega ghala gya upu hama giga bitte dete gapa bade karna prashna akne. Eva ke matam hai crossover cable lega uttaram me dega gya upar paas me switch dega ekine gara connect karna ekad prashna akne. Abey then mama fiber optic cable lega pavichi gara me fiber optic cable lega pavichi gara da paas se mata gara ek akne mama me cable lega me switch chakra gahan na bae kila ekad he do mukhad. What the negative hate to it? What's the reason of the what's the what's the reason of why we can't uh, plug this cable to in switch in this moment? Why? Because fiber optic cable has a special uh, connector. So there are no connector. Okay, so there are no ports in here, so you can see. There are no ports in here uh, to uh, use for fiber optic connected. So we can't uh, fit in here other things. So my fiber optic cable may the RJ45 jacks or the RJ45 ports in it. What we can use a crossover or straight cable using RJ45 connected and we can connect those cables into the switch. It's a no problem. But fiber optic has a, fiber optic cable has a special uh, connectors. Okay. So that connector cannot uh, connect to the RJ45. So specific devices are available for to convert the RJ45 uh, uh, method to the fiber optic method okay so you can see there 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 are two gigabit ethernet this is also ethernet ports ethernet ports okay rj45 ethernet ports we don't call rj45 uh, fiber optic jack uh, ports we don't call that okay 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 Okay, <clears throat> and I connect to those uh, things uh, using, and, all, and also we can't uh, use the coaxial cable and serial cable or anything. If devices, if, uh, if switch has the, I put in here, I don't remember. Yeah, in here, so now you can see in here, there is, a, there, uh, this is a model of, uh, this is switch model, what's the switch model? This switch model is a PET switch, so packet tracer switches. No, uh, no problem. And now this switch has a, a fiber optic uh, Connector ports. When the main switch is there, na fiber optic gahan na pulvang. Main din the main main ke there na main fiber optic gahan na pulvang. Deka main din fiber optic gahan na pulvang. Main okay. The main ke to tava apne na pulvang. Main switch ke to ke main din RJ45. Main din fast Ethernet eva. It is a method din na main switch ke apne configure karan no na console ke bal lega AUX ke ane me console ke bal lega to eva ke ne ka. Toh apne na pulvang. Make it a tower, switch off, 
अरे तो आप इस सामान्य दर्नो ओन में डिवाइसेस का पाविचिंग अनेक अनेक वर्क करने हैं। When we know if if we going to use the devices and uh, operational uh, maintenance, we must power off. Firstly, we must power off and we can drag. Okay, we can we can uh, remove those things. So you can see now, I remove this. So that is a no problem. And we can see in here there is a no switch. And we can see. So this is the PT switch in M1 fee. This is a uh, fiber optic. We can connect fiber optic in here. No problem. And this is this is another fiber optic connected port. And this is a uh, gigabit Ethernet. We can we can use this, and we can use fast Ethernet. And this is. The uh, Ethernet port, Ethernet port, fast Ethernet port, and gigabit Ethernet. Ethernet has a uh, 10 Mbps speed. Fast Ethernet has a uh, 100 Mbps speed, and gigabit has a uh, thousands Mbps speed. So we don't want like this. So in here, uh, we use uh, those two type of switches like gas. So now we can use the uh fiber optic cable and we can see so this is you can see fast ethernet for uh, slash one this is the uh <coughs> this is uh this is the fiber optic uh, port make it my fiber optic port together maybe any fiber optic port you know i don't give a bit either port to get in a man but a pass with it may may to run a hand of blue a bit of fiber optic cable again Someone the fast Ethernet, many Ethernet cable or the fiber optic cable like Ghana back. A copy again in a kind car lab with fiber optic cable like Ghana, when a port take a Kadagan, no name, then I would have killed out a RJ45 cable like in a can switch like Ghana than a dimmer a bit of one cable like a body gadget take a thin a gadget take a ethan to high carala, a bit of one fiber optic cable like a like a then a pull. नेटवर्क Then on the switch, check out a guy, uh, take a lavy of a color part of it. I reckon. I'm brushing a glam on the fiber optic cable like a wedding. Switch check a fiber optic cable port, the non of the fiber optic pile chicken and a pull one. Switch check a fiber optic cable, nothing up a ticket, fiber optic pile chicken a bed. Okay. All right. Then mom make it as a man the gun, no gigabit teeth and it take up. Then in the methanta, man some man the gun. Okay. Uh, now uh, I'm going to uh, do some things, but only thing uh, I want to uh, pink uh, PC one to PC one this this computer. I use this computer uh, as uh, so. Now. So I want to uh, PC one to so now uh, from PC one to so now to uh, transfer packet. Then my PC one ne kine dang packet tag ke orna so now two kine kora. My packet tag delivery hoye na idhar. Kya na ba? Aage ne kya na packet tag delivery hoye na idhar kya? Packet take a delivery when in a packet is not delivery because make IP as I burn IP assigned color the butter, make IP assigned color. Okay, all right. Then up your basic configuration make it a mama in a home in a minute.
मैं की तरफ कर रहा हूँ सो आई यूज स्विच एंड आई यूज लैपटॉप एंड आई यूज कंसोल केबल कंसोल केबल लेकर मित्र ने कहा ना मैं के मित्र ने कहा ना सामान्य का बेटे पुरवांग सो नॉर्मली वी कैन डबल क्लिक द स्विच एंड वी कैन गेट द यूजर इंटरफेस and we can go into the command line interface so config and we can uh, configure in here we can do some uh, command and we can go into the switch and do different things and i'm going to the laptop so and i'm going to the laptop in practically we use laptop to configure switch Okay, I use the laptop and I'm going to the laptop uh, interface and open the terminal. And I have to make a terminal like a page. Then I have to terminal like in Tamil. We switch check the samanda like in desktop page. Then terminal like in. अरे डेस्कटॉप पे करेगी आटा मिल लगेगा उन्होंने मम्मा मज़ाक नहीं है स्विच कहते हुए दम में स्विच कहते हुए डर और ने किन्हों को ये अन्ना बोलूँ मुझे तो देर हैव सम नो सिक्योरिटी सो एनीवन कैन एक्सेस तू डर स्विच ओके ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू सम बेसिक्स थिंग्स सो मगर तो मैं मोड़ देगा नहीं क्या ना अभी मैं सामान्य मोड़ देगा मैंने मैं निकाम में ना मोड़ देगा ना मैं सोच चाहिए थे ना मोड़ देगा अभी मगर तो क्या ना क्या तो क्या ना अभी मैं करेगा ना यूज़ है सेक्स मोड़ देख के पर तो अभी सामान्य आवाज़ का मांग मैं भी ये अभी तो अभी स्विच चेक के थोड़े कंफ्यूज करने की वहाँ मैं अपने करके केलिम में मोड देकर की ना मैंने मैं स्क्रीन मोड देगा मैं क्या मोड 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 दो ना तीनों यूज़र यूज़र सिक्स प्रिविलेज जगह इधर पास से मतलब आगे तूने मतलब आगे प्रिविलेज एक सेक्समेंट ग्लोबल कंफिगरेशन यूज एक्स एक्स मोड प्रिविलेज एक्स एक्स मोड एंड ग्लोबल कंफिगरेशन मोड द मेन ही यूज़ एक्स एक्स मोड देगे तो वो यूज़ एक्स एक्स मोड देगे इन दांग आपे प्रिविलेज मोड देगा डे आंदा दांग आपे मेकर एक्सेस कर लेते हैं ना मैं क्या ना अभी दाना में घटे कमांड देगा किनेबल के लिए कमांड देगा वी यूज इनेबल कमांड टू गो फ्रॉम यूजर एसएक्स मोड टू प्रिविलेज एसएक्स मोड सो दिस इस द द नाउ यू कैन सी Remaining, uh, we are in uh, user SX user SX mode. So 
we want to uh, move to the privilege setting mode so we use the enable command apita wedak karaganna yannone api api meke adana mona hari configure karana nan api yannone global configuration ekene ekata global configuration ekata kiyala thamai api api ekana weda godak dewal karanne meke di command gahanna ona pramane adui me use setting mode ekedi nan mukudma denne प्रिवेज समहार देवाल दिन अरे ये यूसर प्रिवेज यूसर सेक्स मोड प्रिवेज सेक्स मोड अभी आवा दी दी ग्लोबल कंफिगरेशन मोड अब मेके अब दिन देवा समहार देवा ब्रीफली बाला कमांड शो रिंग कंपनी ग्लोबल configure terminal that's a command that's a command configure terminal i type the configure terminal to move the global configuration mode okay this is some error and config config terminal configure terminal Ah no 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 it's okay I'm I'm also in the configure mode now you can see there are switch config config now I am in the configure mode okay there are two types of uh, configuration user user sex mode Okay, first is uh, user user sex mode. Sometimes my grammatical wrong in the buluwa user sex mode and uh, privilege sex mode. Okay, that's my global configuration. global configuration mode okay then user sex mode dege thamai oy avagama switch ekak switch ekak run karapu gama if you are enter the switch so you can see the uh, user sex mode this is a uh, begin start and so if you want to move to the uh, privilege sex mode to do some activities so yeah, so you can uh type enable 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 uh command and you can come to the privilege sx mode and so if you are come to the privilege sx mode so if you want to do some um, complicate complicate activities like as uh, change host name change switch name and uh, assign ip address and uh, you can uh, create security like as password for different things and uh, you can uh, type the com uh, configure configure terminal and you can 
if you can configure terminal and you can come to the global configuration mode there are three type of uh, mode in ios in cisco so switch configure terminal and now you can uh, and if you are coming here so you can see something like this switch config now you can now you can uh, do any things in your uh, switch so i want to firstly i want to change my uh, switch name so you can see now what's the name of switch this is the name also switch 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 name is also switch so if we want to uh, change uh, switch name we called uh, we in this moment we called uh, to it host name okay host name that's the keyword of the network host name so i put in here host name i use uh, my switch now sw oh no uh, it department switch This is IT department switch. So now you can see switch name is changed. What's the name is IT department switch. So no problem. So uh, now uh, host name host name is changed. What's the keyword I use host name? Right. I want to change uh, my name and I type host name. And I type what you want to name. Now I am going to uh, make security for our things. So you must know what the security type in here. Use access mode has a security. Okay, because all all can come uh, into the switch. There are no uh, security. If there are no security, uh, all are can come to the switch and do uh, unbehavior things and destroy our company or our, our boss. And we must define the security for USSX mode. And also we can define security for privilege sex mode. So uh, security uh, for USSX mode and privilege mode SX. So uh, I don't know. I I not uh, doing uh, any security activities for global configuration. So uh, they are not necessary because they are user SX mode and uh, privileged SX mode can uh, do the security things for those layer, those mode, and it's okay. And uh, otherwise, if you are using a console. Console cable. If you yes, if you are using console cable, that's the uh, different security part. Okay, you must configure those security part. I will show you how to do this. Firstly, uh, firstly, I'm going to uh, okay. Now I'm going to uh, secure my uh, console line. Okay, console line. Console line again, cover again, cover again, a cavilla console line making a bit of go. IT department take a switch at the switch at a cover again, a cavilla, console cable like gala, make a villa, Naragavada and make a switch at a marvel, Naragavada, would a current other. Even a poor a bit of pull up, make console cable like a cowhari, console cable like a woman, you have to make it absolute in the TV and a bit of pull up, a console cable like access kind of security of cover. So we can use the security for console cable. So uh, unauthorized part come to the switch. So now we are doing to uh, secure our console line. So we can use this command line uh, line console zero. So this switch has uh, one console port, so we call this uh, console zero. So 
I type line console zero. Uh, I return to the my console. Okay, now you can see. Okay, right. Okay. Uh, so I'm I'm into the line console. I exit this that. And okay, I'm going to uh, set the password for line console. So anyone can't uh, come to the uh, in the switch uh, using uh, console. So I'm going to uh, firstly I define I what I want line console so that's, uh, how to choose uh, console option so this command choose console uh, cable line or connected some path and uh, we can use the password so uh, I can ask, and we can use password for it password use the with the soon and type so this password is activated only if you type uh, login so password is come to the password is temporarily set to the console but if you must uh, type this uh, command and you can set permanently for it okay now line console zero has a uh, password which is with the and with the password is uh, used to login to switch for uh, with console cable if you are not type login command there are some errors when you access to the switch because uh, login command is required okay now command line uh, now uh, line console is secure we can check it okay so now you can see if we are come to the uh, our switch so now password is what the password is with the switch. So I'm I'm using the console line. Okay, I'm using the console line and I'm trying to log it. So I uh, use my uh, password with the switch and enter. So now I can uh, uh, go to the user SX mode. Now I can go to the user SX mode. Okay, no problem. So now I can uh, use enable command and I can move to the privilege sx mode and i can also can config t and uh, i can go to the configuration uh, yes configuration privilege mode configuration, yes configuration mode so no problem now i am sit on the my laptop computer and turn on the terminal and i use console cable to go to the uh, I use the console cable and I use the laptop and I go went to the uh, switch. Now I uh, I do some things work in here. I do I exit in with then exit. No, uh, I'm not exit. Uh, I'm uh, I'm still in here and I'm also going to the switch and click on it and I can uh, appear those things and you can see what happened in here this is my this is this area is my uh, I'm using my laptops laptops and console cable so you can hear this is only switch command line which I uh, double, which I click on the switch. So you can see I, I do some things in here. So those in here, 
there are types config e and you can see no problem so i exit all all things i exit okay no problem so uh, now you can see uh, in the password in uh, left hand uh, both window because i am access with uh, laptops so i am going to in the switch and i type ah, no problem it's okay uh, it's also work like both okay now uh, command line uh, sorry uh, console cable access is secure no problem but hmm, now i want to uh, secure my uh, user privilege mode user sex mode so how do i uh, this i can do like this i can also go to the my privilege mode and uh, configure terminal so you can you can in here you can i show something you can uh, you can you don't want to uh, type complete uh, command and you can type com open and type uh, type uh, select the tab okay if you can't uh, see anything you can uh, type uh, question mark and you can see what are the two commands uh, start from con so we use configure and so we can use f conf and tab so that is the automatically fill and terminal and okay i mean term, no problem and i'm going to secure my user sex mode okay i use my password for this enable password enable password i use uh, cisco enable password cisco so now uh, user privilege mode is as uh, use user privilege is user sex mode is secure we can uh, see it so uh, now we uh, in the b start and so you can see this is the console cable security and we use vidasun password and come to the here and we used to enable why we want to we want to move to uh, user sex mode to privilege sex mode i use enable and type so now you can see the second password it want what is the second password second password is cisco okay okay uh, this is to be it's more security or no 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 problem you can get the idea about what we do okay and don't confuse another things you can study ccna course and you can get the idea and uh, i'm also I, i i can go to the now uh, enter config terminal and now i want to secure my uh, privilege sex mode yes i want to uh, use a secret code to privilege uh, secure my sex mode and i use secret secret no oh, enable enable secret so now now uh, where is that security is attempt okay let's find out 
so this is a console cable password with the zoom no problem and it department we can uh, enable and we have a password but the password is cisco so actually cisco no this is not a cisco password i think sona now we uh, we uh, uh, yes uh, actually we set the password for uh, previously privilege sx mode but we use the secret password okay strong than secret password is stronger than uh, normal password privilege sx mode you can get idea only and you can get different things in future no problem and i'm going to config terminal okay now no problem now i want to do okay i am use the security part ग्लोबल and simply i change host name uh, can you understand now you uh, have you idea about command line interface in uh, switch and uh, how to connect console cable with computer to the uh, switch and configure things i think you can get uh, some basic idea how uh, network configuration and uh, how to work with packet tracer this is what we do in networking we can design we can design uh, our things and we can configure using packet tracer in uh, here not industrial practically we can uh, we can we can uh, do designs and configuration in here no problem uh, i think uh, you can uh, got some understand about packet tracer and how to work with this devices and how to configure with this devices and uh, have you any question or have any doubts about have any doubts about this session i think uh, this is very difficult difficult this is very hard session because i manage my english you can't uh, you can't get some idea about my english <laughs> because uh i can understand myself what i say for you <laughs> huh <laughs> no it's no i i think i i me kare ba mama godak kala ek bada kiyanna kala hitan dod mama me kerala na english e mama hita hita ne फीडबैक्टी